The stench of dead fish killed by red tide continues to cause problems in downtown Sarasota. City leaders are working on a cleanup plan. News Channel 8's Corey Davis reports from Sarasota's iconic bayfront. The smell of dead fish here at the bayfront causing a drop in business and closures, leaving Sarasota city leaders scrambling to keep up. The bayfront, one of the most recognizable spots in all of Sarasota, hasn't been so welcoming lately. We uh, detected or smelled the smell as we got closer. Visiting from Port Charlotte, Bill Colleen had to wear a mask to prevent an asthma attack. As soon as we opened the doors, well, car doors, it just, whoo, it just hit you. And there were a few dead fish there. City manager Tom Barwin was confronted by an emotional and frustrated man while taking a look at the problem. And you guys should be fighting for us, well, not covering it up and not telling tourists to come on down. That's I, ridiculous. We're not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Barwin tells us they've declared a disaster over this, working with the county. We already uh, have people out in some areas. We're hoping to hire up some more and contractors to get going on this uh, as uh, rapidly as possible. Moat Marine scientist Dr. Tracy Fanara has been extremely so busy been studying the impacts. I was working 80 hours a week before. Now I don't, I, I can't remember yesterday. She tells us the toxins in the dead fish don't travel into the air. It just doesn't work that way. And right now it's hard to say when the red tide will be gone. At these high concentrations, uh, their resources will eventually run out. Um, when that will be, we don't know. As crews begin to clean up here at the bayfront, Frenara suspects of the high concentrations to go down quickly when the red tide starts to go away. In Sarasota, Corey Davis, News Channel 8.